IoT turns products into services, right? If something is connected, it can be rented out, leased out, uh, parceled out, uh, paid for uh, per usage in ways that traditional products can't easily. On the internet, uh, it's very hard to figure out if somebody is really who they say they are. And as a result, right, you have to hire somebody else, right, a middleman service, probably the banking system, right, to say, Yes, they really are who they say they are, right? Know your customer. And yes, the funds are really available. If you think about kind of the minimum transaction you can do with today's banking network, right? It's probably about a dollar or a pound, right? Putting something through the Visa network, right? That's probably about the minimum viable size. In terms of transportation, that probably means an Uber ride of about a kilometer or maybe a half a kilometer. And the blockchain and related technologies have the promise to lower transactions costs by about five orders of magnitude five orders of magnitude is one thousandth of a cent, right? So what kinds of transactions can be enabled by these technologies? Via a smart contract, you can divide up the fee that you would charge for that Uber ride and pay for road usage, congestion pricing, carbon credits, pollution pricing, your fuel, right? Electricity, if it's coming from, uh, from, uh, in, in, from the road or from plug-in, uh, or fuel taxes, uh, insurance for the vehicle, uh, paying the owner of the vehicle, the person who finances the vehicle, all of that can be divided up uh, relatively effortlessly with a smart contract parceled out, and it doesn't really matter that it's a fraction of a cent for each one of those things uh, because the transaction cost is very, very low. The friction is very, very low. We began meeting uh, as a group at, uh, with the MIT Media Lab about a year ago, and we began thinking about well, what are the use cases for blockchain in, in the auto industry. Autonomous machine payments, right? Well, if you have smart contracts, you have smart cars, you have very, very low frictional costs, right? Now you have the ability uh, for cars to make transactions with other cars, with infrastructure, with roads. Uh, and this is something that will be, uh, I think, maybe the biggest revolution of all, is these machine-to-machine -machine payments and machine-to-machine -machine economy. We will see cars autonomously executing machine-to-machine -machine payments and machine-to-machine -machine transactions long before we will see level five autonomy driving around safely in these difficult cities. It became very clear that we needed a consortium, and so we got together. I, I retired from Toyota uh, on March 31st. We launched uh, Mobi the next day, uh, officially launched uh, in, in Dubai a month later. Uh, Mobi is a newly created nonprofit foundation to accelerate adoption. Uh, it's creating simple, standard, digitized ways of identifying cars, uh, people, uh, and paying for trips. It's an open uh, organization. Uh, it's technology agnostic. We have all the major uh, blockchain communities involved with us. This whole thing has really picked up momentum and it's moving very, very fast, uh, which is incredibly exciting uh, because uh, when you look at how long it took for the internet and things like that to come along, it took a long time, but this is moving much, much faster. Mm -hmm.